Hi and welcome to our video on how to install and basic setup for Bitdefender Internet Security courtesy of Best Antivirus Reviews. Uh, in this video I will use several time uh, fast forward so we will not have to wait a lot for uh, things to change on the screen. A uh, few words about Bitdefender. Uh, actually it's one of the best uh, antivirus out, out there in our test it's always uh, getting very high scores and uh, when we test it in our lab we get a lot of uh, good results uh, when we test the uh, influence of on on CPU uh, hard disk and memory everything is uh, working smoothly with with this program so Let's start the install process. The first thing that you want to do is to go to Bitdefender and download the installation file. In our case, we're going to use Internet Security 2016 and let's download the file. It is asking for an, for an email. You can, of course, use your email. For our to testing, we will use um, testing email and after submitting the email address it should automatically uh, start or give you a link to download the file let's wait for, for a few more seconds Okay, you can see here the download link. Um, I guess you should press it. In this case, uh, the browser, the, the Chrome browser, is warning me about this uh, file um, because I trust Bitdefender and I trust the domain. I will tell tell Chrome to keep the file and it will download it to the computer. Let's open the folder and here we can see uh, the installation file. Simple double click on the installation file should start the process, the install process. Uh, we are elevating Windows um, permission in order to start the installation process and as you can see the file is, is not so big for an antivirus uh, software but uh, the installation process will start to download the full installation package so uh, let's wait and use fast forward until we are in the next step Okay, we're in, in the middle of the installation process. Uh, most user can simply uh, click the install uh, function, but, uh, but let's go, go through the custom uh, properties. Uh, the first thing you can change if you want, but there is no re uh, real need to change it, is to ch change the installation path. Um, you can also configure if you want a proxy set setting in case you don't have direct internet connection you can define here a proxy server um, other thing that is that are enabled by default is send anonymous usage reports this is, this is actually uh, important for the community in order to update uh, Bitdefender database in case you are infected with a virus um, uh, this can report to the uh, engineers at the Bitdefender and help them uh, uh, protect other PCs that, sh that can be infected by uh, the same uh, virus. So I will use the default configuration and, and the process uh, will continue.
Okay, the installation is completed. As you can see, you have a Bitdefender icon on the desktop and also another icon in the taskbar. Uh, Bitdefender is asking to register uh, your account. Uh, without registering an account, it will actually will not let you uh, manage the antivirus. So let's go forward with uh, uh, this information. I will, of course, will use not real information in this demo. Um, later on, I will ask from Bitdefender to erase all this information. Um, I will even show you the password. And now I should create an account. I need an, an uppercase in order to uh, comply with the password complexity. And let's create an account. While the account is created, created um, I have, of course, the option to input the activation code if, if you bought a license. In our case, we're going to use the trial mode or the free mode. Uh, I want to, tr to try the products for 30 days. And let's press continue. Now you will see that I will have 30 days subscription and everything will be activated, the firewall, the antivirus, everything. Still configuration in process. Now I can try to open Bitdefender panel and the first thing I want to do is to do a update. If you can see the last update, never. We want to do a full update by simply clicking this update option and if you have internet connectivity this should run without a problem. It can take of course some time depending on the internet connection and um, when was the last time that you did this update so probably the first update will take more time than uh, updates that we, you will do on a, on a daily basis. So let's wait a few seconds and use the fast forward. Okay. We are done. As you can see, the update uh, was completed successfully. It took several minutes to do it for the first time. Uh, other set setups that I recommend you to double check and, and configure the program. Um, if you go to general setting, um, and go to update, you can see that by default this software is configured to update the database every one hour. Just make sure that it's actually configured that way. It's it's very important to update to, to update the virus definition uh, very often. Another setting that I recommend doing is going to the models option and um, manage scan. Uh, by default there are no scheduled uh, scan on the, on the system so I recommend configuring at least uh, one system scan each day. So by going to new custom task uh, you can schedule um, A full scan 
and repeat it every one day and you can decide um, at, at what is the best time for you in most cases you can simply do this in a, in a time that you are not using your PC and here you can select which hard disk or which elements on your computer you want to scan and that's all now you have a scheduled a custom scan of course you can delete it and and this scan should run each day and scan all your all your files and folder after we have finished the installation and customization of the Bitdefender program let's do a small test to see that everything is working according to plan uh, let me try to open a URL that is trying to do a phishing as you can see when I'm trying to open this URL Bitdefender is automatically blocking this content um, let's try to bypass uh, Bitdefender recommendation as you can see this is actually a phishing site that is trying to to get your email and password for your Gmail account another test that we can do in order to see that the installation is uh, uh, working is to do a quick scan or a full scan very easy you open the panel and click the quick scan it is working you can see it was very fast Thank you for watching this uh, video. If you have uh, any problems or questions, uh, please feel free to go to our website, uh, bestantivirus.reviews, and drop us a line. Also, don't forget to review our uh, comprehensive hands-on tests uh, we conduct on all uh, antivirus softwares.